To get started with deploying a project to Laravel Vapor, the first thing you need to do is ensure you have an AWS account set up. Second, you need to make sure you have a Vapor account set up and that you've created an IAM role in AWS that Laravel Vapor is allowed to use. Once that is all set up, we can start with actually deploying our project to Vapor. So what, do I ha what I have here is a default Laravel installation. And the first thing I'm going to do is install the Laravel command line utility. So I'm going to use Composer and Composer require Laravel Vapor CLI. And the reason why I install this locally to my project is so that when we use continuous integration and a continuous delivery, the CLI tool will be bundled with our application. So you don't need to have it running globally on your CI server. All right, now that I have the CLI installed, what I do is create an alias called Vapor and I map it to the vendor bin Vapor directory. So anytime you see me type Vapor, uh, I have an alias set up on my machine to alias this to the local vendor bin Vapor. So if you don't have the alias set up, you have to type in vendor bin Vapor anytime you see me type Vapor. So I'm gonna log into Vapor to authenticate my local machine with the Vapor service. All right. I'm logged in successfully. The next thing I want to do is create a new project. So we're going to use Vapor init to create that project. It's going to ask us a couple of questions. What's the name of the project? It's taking this from the name of the directory we're in. I'm going to say yes. Next is what region do you want your project to be deployed in in AWS? I'm going to choose Ohio. And then third, would you like to install the Laravel Vapor core package? And I'm going to say yes. So the Laravel Vapor core package just allows your application to run on Vapor's runtime. So that once that's installed, everything's set up and good to go. I can close the terminal. And you can see on the left, we have a new file, vapor.yaml. So at the top, you can see that this is project ID 317. The name of the project is Vapor Video. And then Vapor it has created two environments for us, a production environment and then a staging environment. For the purposes of the video, I'm not going to use a production environment, so I'm just going to delete it. And in the staging environment, you can see that for any HTTP request, uh, we're going to get 1,024 megabytes of memory. And then for any CLI requests, so jobs, queues, uh, artisan commands, et cetera, we're going to get 512 megs of memory. And then our default build is composer install for our PHP dependencies, uh, run the PHP artisan event cache command, and then install and run our JavaScript front end build. All right, so we don't actually have to tweak anything here to, in order to deploy. The only thing we need to do is open up our terminal and run vapor deploy, and then the name of our environment, which in this case is staging. Staging here, so staging. And what this will do is this will bundle up your application and send it to Amazon, so it'll put your assets on S3 and CloudFront. It'll package up your PHP code into a Lambda function. Uh, it'll set up. RDS SSL certificate, so you can connect to RDS if you have enabled that. Basically, it's just going to bundle up our application for us and ship it to AWS so it's ready to deploy. So while that's running, we can see here that by running the vapor init command, we've actually sent a request to vapor to create the project, which assigned our URLs for us, um, and everything is set up and good to go on vapor's end. All right, so now the project has been deployed successfully. It took a minute and 42 seconds. Uh, here is our environment URL for our staging environment. So you can see uh, Vapor needs to propagate that DNS record because it's a new subdomain on their Vapor Farm URL. So this takes a couple minutes. Uh, I'll report back when it's finished. All right, so it took about four minutes, but I'm back. I've clicked on the URL from the staging environment, and we can see here that our project is up and running. We have the default Laravel installation. Good to go on our vanity URL. And that's it. That's how simple it is to deploy with Vapor. It's literally, what was that, two commands, Vapor init, Vapor deploy, done.